Good morning, everyone. My name is Jack Solsheimer. I'm the District Attorney of Delaware County, and I'm joined here by uh, Chester City Police Commissioner uh, Stephen Gretzky. We're here on an absolute tragedy. This is a tragedy that, a story that plays out too often across the United States of America. A disgruntled employee uh, has walked into the linen shop, the Delaware County linen shop behind us, uh, and shot five people, uh, five co-workers. Uh, two are deceased. Three are at the hospital. I'm asking everybody in this region who's listening today to pray for them right now. Uh, they are in serious condition, uh, and we are hopeful that they're able to survive. Uh, because of the great work, and Stephen will talk in a minute about the work the Chester Police and surrounding agencies have done working together, we have a, an, a, the uh, suspect in custody. Uh, and we think at this point, everybody in the community should recognize that we have a safe situation here. We are processing the crime scene. Uh, but at this point, we do have the suspect in custody. We have two individuals who unfortunately uh, have lost their life just by showing up at work today uh, from a disgruntled former employee. Uh, and then we have three other people who are at the hospital right now, and we are all praying for them. So, Stephen, thank you. Uh, do you want to step forward and say a few words about the work that Chester Police have done? Sure. Unfortunately, we're here today, and I want to echo what the uh, district attorney says. This is an unfortunate situation. It is a sad situation. Um, I have to commend my police department. One of the uh, individuals who was shot, my officer just sits it. Uh, one of the employees got him to the uh, hospital. Currently, again, we have two confirmed deceased, and the other three are at a local hospital, and one is listed as critical condition. That's correct. That's confirmed. What can you tell us about the shooter? We can't tell you anything about him at this point. That person is in custody and being uh, processed as we speak. Can you tell us what did he come to work today armed? Did he come in later just in terms of the circumstances? Uh, obviously, he came today armed and shot five people. Uh, those people, two are deceased, three are at the hospital, and we're praying for them now. That's all the information we have at this point. Yes. That's correct. correct. Did he arrive with everybody else, or did he come in later? Jeff, I told you everything I could tell you. This employee came to work today with a firearm. Uh, I believe it's a handgun. Steven, That's correct. Uh, shot five people during the course of this morning. And the shooting happened inside, outside, where in the premises it happened? Both. Both. Mr. Gretzky, can you speak again about it? I think you mentioned one of the employees who was shot while he was alive. Did I hear that correctly? What was that? So, so no, I, what I was saying is I had to commend my officers because one of the individuals who was shot, uh, my officers were able to get a hold of them and take them to the hospital. Also, I want to commend Trainer Police Department because the actor did attempt to flee, which they did stop him, and again, he is in custody. How did they stop him? Did they have a description? It was, it was a vehicle stop. It was from a description, correct. We, we can't get into any of those details right now, guys. We're just going to give you the basic information, and we're going to walk away at this point, okay? This is a workplace shooting incident. An employee came to work today with a firearm, took out his anger on four employees of the that he works with, or excuse me, five employees he works with. Two are deceased, three are at the hospital. One at least is in critical condition. We're asking for prayers at this time. And please let people in the community just deal with this information for now. We are processing the crime scene. We're not going to take any more questions. Thank, Thank you. you.